Good morning, my friends. I come to you with new leaks uh, concerning the rest of the um, not missing cards from the next pack. The October pack that we will get in 15 days. So uh, I guess it's in two weeks on the Tuesday, if I'm correct here. So the cage is leaked to the rest of the cards. We already know about the rescue as we already know about Kashtira. Um, there's also a very important information about rescue ace that I will talk to, uh, I will give you in a moment after I talked about this and obviously we get the rest of the cash cards finally. So what is uh, coming? There are the new um, Gishki support cards coming in the form of Evi Gishki and Nereminas, uh, Gishki Grimness. Uh, focused Aqua Mirror and Gishkri Necro Mirror. So if you don't know, this is a ritual type um, deck that does ritual summons. It gets a new ritual summon card that I think can also be um, can also be recycled. That's that's pretty nice. They get uh, a new. What does this card do? If you ritual summon exactly one water, which monster of card effect that requires uh, use of monsters? This card can be used as entire tribute. Okay, so you can see like um, they have given uh, the Gishki archetype some support cards that make it easier to ritual summon. Obviously, being able to only use one card for a ritual summon, for example, for a level ten card, is a big difference because then uh, it's it's way cheaper. We also have in Master Duel the, the unique opportunity to be able to play Sprite Elf still, which is still allowed when this came out in the TCG, people were very hyped uh, to play this in Sprite as an engine, because uh, you can see all of them are basically level 2, and I think we would also do that in Master Duel, um, but unfortunately Sprite was uh, Sprite Elf was already banned uh, at that moment, so that never really came up. Um, but we get the opportunity now, the new boss monster, the Nerimeas reads, you can ritual summon this card with any Gish ritual spell so the mirror for example if this card is ritual summoned you can target one water monster in your graveyard special summon it so basically all of the other ritual monsters as well if you want to cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster special summon from the extra deck that's nice because obviously a 3000 attack monster is a, a monster that we would normally clear with an extra deck monster once per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect quick effect you can return one gishki ritual monster you control to the hand and if you do negate that activation and if you do shuffle that card into the deck so also an inbuilt negation and keep in mind that with the new uh, gishki grimness you can just make this with just this thing as material so i think this is what the ritual uh, type or the ritual play type needs some uh, cards that break the original um, the original mechanic because the original mechanic is too weak to be able to really do something um, so that's quite nice also this card has a bonus effect if this card is normal or special summon you can special summon one gishki monster from your deck except gishki grimness uh, also you can only declare attacks with ritual monsters until the end of this turn so this is really nice a really cool searcher and making all uh, the gishki cards stronger then we have focused aqua mirror which is a spell add one gishki monster from your deck to your hand so a rota basically doing the end phase if you control a water ritual monster which normally you will do you can banish this card from your graveyard and send one aqua mirror spell trap directly from your deck except this one so really nice gives it more follow-up you can see that um, they have printed cards that make the deck uh, give the deck stronger plays make the deck more consistent and make the the strategy that the deck wants to go for come together more easily right uh, through the use of the grimness being able to ritual summon as the whole material um, other really annoying cards that will be summoned is Evgishki Gust Kraken, uh, the card we already have, but it reads, you can ritual summon this card with any Gishki ritual spell, and when this card is ritual summoned, not once per turn by the way, look at up to two random cards in your opponent's hand, and then shuffle one of them into the deck. So if you can manage that, you can uh, get this thing on the board three times uh, a turn, and thereby putting three of your opponent's hand cards back into the deck and you can also look at two so after that you will basically have seen the whole hand and uh, you know the hand you have uh, sent cards from the hand back so obviously it's way better to be able to look at the hand and then uh, decide what you want to send back than only sending a random card back right um, so yeah sprite elf we still have sprite elf that allows us to Two resummon cards like the Gishki Abyss, which says when this card is summoned, you can add one Gishki monster with 1000 or less defense from your deck to your hand. Uh, note here that this, for example, the new card is not once per turn uh, or is once per turn because it's a new card, while the older card, the Abyss, for example, is not once per turn. So you can get this back with the Sprite Elf, thereby using the effect once again. So I think this will be fun. This will be incorporated with the new Sprite, uh, with the new Sprite engine, with the Sprite engine, um, and there will definitely be some strong deck lists. Will this put Sprite? 
back again at the top of the tier list um, as it once was. I don't think so, um, but uh, it's cool that there is a new support that can be incorporated with the deck, uh, though I think that Gishki is the archetype uh, that we will get in the new pack that will make uh, the um, littlest impact in comparison to Rescue Ace and the Kashira cards. Let's talk about Rescue Ace for a moment because Decade also had another like like leak. You can't can't really tell it or can't really call it a leak, but he confirmed something that is very important when it comes to the Rescue Ace cards. So what you can see here are the Rescue Ace cards that are out right now. And the deck really only came together in the TCG and OCG after the second wave was released, consisting of, correct me if I'm wrong here, Preventer, Emergency, and I think that everything else was there and reinforce i think reinforce is also but reinforce is not played so it was re it was emergency and preventer and uh, the deck only really came together after that so before the second wave nobody was playing this deck it wasn't played it wasn't strong um and decade uh, just uh, confirmed that we won't get the second wave so no preventer no emergency we will only get the base cards and therefore we can expect that this deck will not make a big meta impact uh, at the beginning of uh, the new Kashira matter, so uh, we will get all the Kashira cards that are, are missing. Kashira will be the strongest deck in the room by far, um, if not for big uh, for big limitations that we will come to see. I think um, in um, a few a few days, in a few days, we will see the ban list, and on the ban list there will be the cards uh, that are not um, together with the Kashira archetype. We will have to look out whether the Diablosis will get banned. Uh, where is the guy? Where the Diablosis will get banned? Uh, this is very interesting concerning non Kashira cards, and then obviously a few days before the release of the pack, we will also get. Um, uh, the news on whether there will be any Kashira cards that are limited on release. Here's my prediction. I think we will get the planet at one same here uh, as the OCG did, but I also think that that honestly will be it. Um, there is no reason to put Kashira Arisa to one OCG. Uh, OCG did not do it. TCG has it forbidden now, but that's not something that we can go go by. Uh, maybe Kashira Theosis to, I don't know, but I, I don't think so. This will be an ultra rare. It will be a free. This will be an ultra rare. This will be an ultra rare. Uh, probably this is an ultra rare that you will uh, run two to three times. This is an ultra rare that you run three times, and this is an ultra rare that you will only run one time, one time because it will be limited to one that's my prediction um, but yeah so so get ready this will be the Kashira meta we uh, will see Kashira everywhere because everybody has the cards at least it feels like that that everybody has crafted them and now it's the time to use them uh, there will be Kashira and I think no other deck will really be able to keep up with that you can see right now we have Purley and Dragon Link at the top um, Purley will be still a strong deck Labyrinth will also be very nice against Kashira that can definitely keep up with the deck but Purley has a problem that we only have one Zeus for example and Kashira will basically always rip this Zeus maybe even maybe you will start playing Triple Noir just to uh, ex-Purley Noir just to have one um, because yeah, um, they will probably rip your Zeus, so thereby uh, removing one of your very important and strong comeback options against the Kashira board. Um, just by the fact that we only have one Zeus, Kashira will be stronger here in uh, Masador than it was over in the TCG, where Zeus is still at 3. So yeah, just to come back to the cards, we are getting the Gishki cards. Um, not really excited for that, to be honest. Um, but you can incorporate them into a Sprite if you already have the engine. Then the Rescue Ace cards, a lot of Rescue Ace cards, but unfortunately not um, not enough to make it playable. The Preventer basically is a Book of Moon type of card, which is super strong. It says if you control another Rescue Ace monster, quick effect, you can target one effect monster your opponent controls, change it to face down defense position. That's crazy. And you can also summon this level 8 monster by banishing one Rescue Ace card from your graveyard and then also if this card is sent to the graveyard so if, for example for a link summon you can target one of your banished rescue ace monsters uh, remember this has just banished a card to be summoned uh, except a level 8 monster and special summon it so preventer is just crazy and then emergency also very important special summon one S uh, rescue ace monster from your deck in defense position then tribute one rescue ace monster from your hand during main phase you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one rescue ace trap in your graveyard and set it so this enables you to go air hoister into search emergency because this is able to search and then emergency can go 
Or you have to tribute the air hoister for the emergency because of car text, the emergency because it searches, searches through the turbulence, which then you can summon by banishing to rescue ace. So you have the air hoister and the emergency. That's why that is important to have both of them in grave. And then you can set uh, four cards. Normally you would set the alert, the rescue, contain and extinguish. And that's basically your main play in this deck. But we have to wait until rescue ace will be at full power. That's quite all right. If you ask me, it's cool. We have Kashiro right now. We have the new Poli archetype. We can definitely, or we have definitely at least some cool decks that we can play. Also the Gishki uh, sprite uh, archetype will be there, but we have to see which decks can survive the um, arrival of Kashiro. So. Let's see guys, uh, that's all for now for the new leaks. Um, if you like my uh, content, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell. And we will see each other in the next one.